from the Dead Sea. We got up pretty early this morning to make sure that we could get the last bus out of Amman to make sure that we get to the Dead Sea on time, which was about 8.30. So we decided to walk from our hotel all the way to the bus station. It took us probably about 45 minutes and it was all steadily uphill. So we're definitely made to work for it. But once we got on the bus, everything was really good and it took about an hour and 15 to get to this resort, which is the Ramada Hotel on the Dead Sea. So when we initially thought about coming to the Dead Sea, we thought it was just a normal beach you could turn up at and lay out, go into the Dead Sea, mud up and then wash yourself off and thought it was probably going to be pretty cheap. As it turns out, that's not quite how it works. Basically, because of the salt content here, if you do not shower pretty quickly after getting out, your skin will get itchy, you will get all crusty feeling, and your swimsuit will get completely ruined. So how it works is all the resorts here offer day passes. There are also private beaches that offer day passes with showers and everything. We did a lot of research after finding out about this, and... The Ramada seems to be the most reasonably priced in the sense that you get access to all of their pools, their showers, their beach, which is super clean and not rocky or unpleasant on the foot because I'd heard a lot of the beaches here could actually be painful on the foot due to crystals. We also get lunch all included for 25 Jordanian dinar per person, which is about $50 per person. So obviously this ended up being a little bit more expensive than we would have liked, but this is how it works. And it sounds like we're going to have the most relaxing day. Cannot wait. <laughs> like 220 pounds. This is spectacular. Right. <laughs> How you feeling, bud? Why are my legs so high in the air? <laughs> <laughs> what? Can I put them under? No. You, you can stand up. You can definitely stand up if you really put an effort into it. There you go. saltiest place on earth that is 9.6 times saltier than the ocean and unfortunately the dead sea is receding yep as a water supply project happened in the 60s then it diverted the water from the Jordanian River away from the Dead Sea so as a result there hasn't been as much water flowing into the Dead Sea so it started drying up. So I believe since 1960 it's got 33% smaller. Which is crazy. So come here while you can. Uh, definitely. Because this is awesome. Oh. It just makes you float. I didn't want to float. It just happened. I'm not sure if you can see this, but like it's definitely not clear at all. It's got like this kind of almost like oily sensation to it. And that's literally just because of the salt content. It's a really nice temperature too. This is so much warmer than every other beach we've been to. Like this you could stay in all day. Just in case you prefer to be on your stomach, this is also possible to float. Superman style. <laughs> I'm getting my skydiving practice on.
experience mudding up like? Uh, it would have been nice had there been like a cooler place to put your feet, but honestly, it just felt like really heavy suntan lotion. And now it's starting to dry up, so it kind of feels like it's starting to crust a bit. Yeah, I think that the sand is super hot on your feet, so it's very uncomfortable to actually stand there and mud up. Yep. But I'm curious to see how long it takes to dry because I think you're supposed to let it fully dry before you wash it off. So we'll check back in and show you what it looks like when it's dry. Yeah, and just to give you an idea of what this actually is, apparently this is mud that is taken from the foot of this lake. And so it's supposed to be very good for your skin. Exactly. So, all natural spa treatment. Who knew? It has been about 15-20 minutes and parts of our body are drying, like our legs, my stomach and arms, but a lot's also staying wet, so I think we're just going to go back into the dead sea and wash this off. This worked. After two hours spent at the beach by the Dead Sea, we were going in and out, showering, mudding ourselves. We have decided to come back up to the pool. We found ourselves this really nice umbrella with two chairs in the shade. And I think we're just going to enjoy a buffet lunch and chill for the rest of the day. What was the verdict on your lunch, Mr. Williams? Yeah, lunch was okay. Um, I would say that the salad and dips with the bread were probably the best part. The hot food was okay. Limited numbers of choices um, and very, very rice heavy, which I guess is the right point. Um, and desserts were hit and miss, but thankfully we managed to find one which was cinnamon roll based of some kind, and it was an absolutely heavy. So, yeah. If you pick well, then you can have a very good meal, but the best part is definitely salads. The only thing that um, I didn't quite appreciate, and I think we both agreed on this, was drink something good at all. Like not even water or tea or coffee, like you have to pay extra for every single additional drink that you want to get, which all I can say to that is thank god we brought our own big bottle of water, otherwise we'd have to pay through the nose for that. What about you? I, much like you, thought the salads were the highlight. They had this amazing red cabbage salad that I loved. The Greek salad was phenomenal. It had, I think that's the tar spice on it again. I also found this yogurty salad that had just feta cheese in it and maybe some like chives and I think pickles. It was fantastic. And again, the hummus and the pita were great. I agree with you. Dessert was it. I love that hot cinnamon roll dish. The brownies really didn't have much flavor. So just to clarify, I personally didn't finish everything on my plate that you saw. I shared some with Nick, but yeah, also like you disappointed the drinks weren't included, but there you go. Back to the pool. After a very relaxing day here at the Ramada, sadly, we have to get the bus back to Amman. How did you feel about it all? I had an amazing day. I thought the Dead Sea was absolutely incredible and after learning that it's receding, I'm especially grateful that we got to come and experience it because I think it's a really unique thing to do. I was surprised at how you have to experience the Dead Sea by going to a 
private beach or a resort. That shocked me a little bit, that it wasn't just like a typical beach you could go to and sunbathe that, go in and out. But I think it's really useful information to have that you need to go somewhere that has showers, meaning it is gonna cost you money for the day. And it was worth it to come here, get a nice lunch, have access to a pool and change rooms and showers. I mean, of course, there are some things that could have been improved upon, like including drinks as part of the price. And by that, we just mean water. But you really couldn't do this any other way, not only because of the showers, but because all the beaches and resorts are so spread out in this area. There are no little stores where you can buy water or groceries or anything like that. So if somehow you managed to just go to a place that didn't serve food, you would need to ensure that you brought yourself enough water and drinks and food to last you the entire day because there aren't any shops around for you to get any. Any thoughts, babe, or did I say it all? I think you covered most of it. Um, I think for me, obviously, you know, going on the Dead Sea and stuff like that is really kind of up there on every bucket list and that was no different for me. And honestly, it's a very special experience, extremely unique. Um, and especially now, as you mentioned, we now know it's receding and everything like that. And obviously it makes it all the more special because, I mean, I hope it doesn't end up like drying up completely, but certainly the experience went to more of a premium as a result. Definitely one thing I will say as an extra remark on the beach, make sure you just wear sandals as much as you possibly can outside of the water because it is very, very hot in that whole basin, generally speaking. And that means the sand heats up very quickly. And especially if you're trying to do your little mud bath and all that kind of stuff, that heats up very quickly too. So unless you want to absolutely boil your feet, then um, it's definitely a good idea to make sure that you've got something on them at all times while you're doing anything that is not water-based. Otherwise, this particular place has been, been really nice. Again, drink service being included would have been lovely, but at the same time, like considering that this is kind of one of the cheaper resorts that we know of, then I figured that there had to be some sort of catch. Yeah. Um, it wasn't going to be all absolutely perfect. It wasn't going to be all absolutely included. But you know what? The rest of the experience of being in here has been good, especially the fact that quite a little shuttle bus between the resort and the beach as well to take you there, and the buffet, food was really, really nice too so all things considered it was a really good experience being here and if you're willing to do something a little bit on the cheap side um, and you still want to see the Dead Sea then this would be a pretty good option. Because there certainly are other resorts based on our research that do cost more money and I'm sure they include more so you have options. Yeah absolutely but yeah no this was this is a special time and definitely just getting a general kind of resort experience at the same time which is uh, not something we're going to get very used to while we're on you know, budget travels and stuff like that it was um, just a nice little treat yeah it was nice to have loungers with pillows yummy food and a pool it certainly was a treat mm -hmm. so we're gonna get the bus back to Amman now yeah We've come back to the juice place that we got shown on our walking tour yesterday and we're going to try a couple of the juices. We ate so much for lunch that we feel like a lighter and healthier dinner is the best option. So hopefully these fill us up. But either way, we know they're going to taste amazing after the sample we had yesterday. Exactly. So I got one with pineapple and mango. And mine is mango strawberry. She has bubs. It's so good. And they were each 250, so five dinar in total, which I think is 10 Canadian dollars. But so worth it for some fresh fruit that's cold. Delicious, absolutely delicious. Those smoothies really didn't last long. We devoured them on the very short walk home. But I think that's pretty much it. We're gonna turn ourselves in more or less for the night. So until next time, take care. And keep smiling. Oh,